Certain job categories will vanish due to AI. That, that the AI models are very much at the center of what, what an entry-level human worker would do. About 500 people, that's how many workers that are losing their jobs to AI every single day. It's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but there will come a point where no job is needed. Right now, as you're watching this video, somewhere deep down in the world, there is someone who just got a call. The email, the message that changes everything. Your service is no longer required. Not because they failed, not because the company is struggling, but because machines just replaced their job. July 28, 2025, a Sunday, most people were having breakfast with their families. That's when TCS, the company that promised job security for life, sent out 12,000 termination emails while reporting 63,000 crores in profit. If you think that this is just another layoff story, if you think you are safe, then you haven't been paying attention. This isn't a trend, it's an extension event and it's accelerating. Let me paint you a picture of what's really happening behind the closed doors. Microsoft, 15,000 people fired. Same day, $80 billion invested in AI. Coincidence? Breaking news out of the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond. The company now confirms thousands of workers are being laid off. Until 24,000 jobs slashed. AI chipset division, hiring spree. TCS, 12,000 jobs gone. March hiring, 5,000 plus new people joined. You see the pattern? It's replacement. We have got the leaked emails from major tech IT companies. The internal memos are terrifying. They are not even hiding it anymore. One email subject line read, Phase 2, Human Resource Optimization Complete. Phase 2? That means there was a Phase 1. And guess what's coming next? Anthropic CEO, he dropped the bomb. 50% of the entry-level white-collar jobs will vanish by 2030. Compared to previous technology changes, I'm a little bit more worried about the labor impact simply because it's happening so fast. That's five years, 60 months, and we are already eight months in. The person sitting next to you at work, statistically, one of you won't make it to 2030. But wait, you're thinking, this is a Silicon Valley drama. Indian IT is different. We are the backbone of the global tech. Oh, my friend, India isn't escaping this wave. We are drowning in it. The worst part? They are doing it quietly, professionally, with a smile. TCS didn't just fire people. They are creating a trap. New policy, 225 billable days per year. Miss it by 35 days and you're out. No experience letter, maybe no reference also. 100 engineers in Bangalore found out the hard way. They thought they were safe. They had good reviews, years of experience, didn't matter. But here is what it gets insane. While they are firing people, these companies are making more money than ever. TCS up by 1.3%, Infosys up by 7.5%, HCL up by 8.1%. They are not struggling, they are thriving by firing you. We spoke to someone insider from Infosys. They told us something chilling. We have AI that does the work of 50 people. Why keep 50 people? 21,000 IT professionals lost their job in just three months. These aren't fresh graduates. They are people with mortgages, kids in college, parents to take care of. And the scariest part, this is just the beginning. Because the technology they are using is about to get 10 times more powerful. You want to know why this is happening so fast? Why they chose July 28th to destroy 12,000 lives? Because the AI finally works. Not a kind of not partially, it works. GitHub Copilot handles 40% of the coding tasks. IBM Chatbot replaced 200 HR people and handles 11.5 million queries annually. One system, 200 carriers gone. But we found something more terrifying. Klarna, the payment company went from 5,000 employees to 3,000. You would think customer service would collapse, right? Wrong. Customer satisfaction went up. AI wasn't just replacing humans, it was doing better. 
Mark Zuckerberg told Joe Rogan in the podcast. Probably in 2025, we at Meta are going to have an AI that can effectively be sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company. This isn't a slow digital transformation. This is a mass extinction event and it's happening in real time. But here is what the media isn't telling you. There's a group of people getting richer from this chaos. Let me decode the corporate BS for you. They are lying to your face with a smile. When they say workforce optimization, they brought AI. Strategic realignment, your job is gone. Future ready transformation, you are the past. Skill based restructuring, the machine learned your skill. We found internal emails of the five major companies. The pattern is identical. Step one, hire AI consultants. Step 2. Map employee tasks to AI capabilities. Step 3. Workforce optimization. Step 4. Profit explosion. Candice Scarborough exposed it. Layoffs aren't happening before AI rollout. They are happening after. Even the AI companies are firing their own people. Think about that. The companies building the AI don't need humans to run it. OpenAI laid off researchers. Google fired AI ethicists. Meta cut off their AI training teams. If the people building the future can't secure their own jobs, what chance can the rest of us have? We found something that changes everything. There is one group not just surviving. They are getting promoted, getting raises, becoming irreplaceable. While millions lose their jobs, there is a silent wealth explosion happening. And the winners, they saw this coming. AI job postings pay 24% more. That's 15 lakhs extra per year. 300% increase in the AI related job globally. But here's a twist. The high paying jobs aren't Google or Microsoft. They are at banks, hospitals, retail chains. Traditional companies are desperate for AI talent. Marketing managers who use a stat GPT, 40% salary bump. Sales lead with AI tools, promoted to director. Accountants using AI for analysis, headhunted by three companies. They are not building AI. They are not coding it. They are just using it. We interviewed 50 people who survived the layoff. Every single one had learned AI tools in last six months. The pattern is clear. Learn AI tools, top security plus raises. Ignore AI, unemployment lane. But there is a catch. The window is closing fast. 77% of AI roles need master degrees. 18% want PhDs. The bar is raising while the ladder is being pulled out. So the question isn't whether this will affect you. The question is, are you going to be ready or are you going to be roadkill? Listen carefully. This might be the most important 90 seconds of this video. The winners and the losers are already being decided. AI companies making billions. Traditional companies using AI workers who master AI tools. Countries with cheap skilled digital labor. Losers, entry level mid professionals who don't adopt. Mid level employees too expensive to keep. Anyone who thinks that this will blow over. People waiting for companies to train them. Your company won't train them. Why would they? They are planning to replace you. But here is your survival plan. And you need to start it today. Step 1. Pick one AI tool this weekend. ChatGPT or Claude or Midjourney or GitHub Copilot or anything of that sort. Learn it completely. Step 2. Use it at work. Show the real results. Document the improvements. Get noticed. Step 3. Double down on the human skills, they can't replace you. Creativity, emotional intelligence, strategic thinking, crisis leadership. The people learning AI tools today will be managing the survivors tomorrow. The ones who don't, they won't be at the company to find out. You have a choice to make tonight, this weekend, this month. But before you panic, let me show you why this might be actually the greatest opportunity of your life. Here is what the fear mongers won't tell you. This isn't just a destruction, it's a creation. Yes, 1,30,000 jobs disappeared, but 2.4 million AI jobs were being created. We don't have this job crisis, we have the skill mismatch. And in India, we have the secret weapon. We are the king of the leapfrogging. We skipped the landlines, we went straight to the mobile. Jumped from cash to UPI overnight. While others adopted, we revolutionized. We can do this again. While Silicon Valley debates on AI ethics, we are building AI solutions. While Wall Street hesitates, Indian startups are scaling. Every TCS employee who got fired 
five startups want to hire them. If they know AI tools, every company is hunting for AI skilled workers. The demand is insane. This isn't the end of the work. It's the end of the boring and repetitive soul crushing work. The future belongs to humans who amplify themselves with AI. Not humans versus machines, humans with machine. But only if you choose to evolve. The wave is here. You can fight it and drown or learn to surf it and soar. We are at the most important crossroads in the human history. Around 500 people lost their jobs to AI today. Tomorrow it could be 10,000. Next, 1 lakh. It could be your colleague, your friend, your family member or it could be you. Unless you act now. If this video scared you, good. Fear is the beginning of the wisdom. If this inspired you, better. Hope is the fuel of change.